Sam Ash, Guitar Center, we gotta talk. And this is a conversation that I've been putting off for a while, but you know when you bottle things up and eventually it all spills over? Well, that's where I'm at. And I want y'all at home to let me know if you can relate or if you think I'm just being petty because honestly, I can't tell. And it all started a couple weeks ago. I was doing some pedal shootouts on my Vox AC30 when I really started to hear this rattle and this just hissing noise, and it was bad. And with tube amps, you know that 99% of the time, the problem is you need new tubes. So I go on Amazon to check and see how much it'll cost to get four of these EL84 tubes sent to my house. They're available for two day shipping, which is great, but part of me loves to support the little guy. Like I'm the type of person who will go to a local place over a chain. I still go to my local camera shop instead of buying stuff on B&H when I can. And if I have the chance to go to Guitar Center or Sam Ash, then I'm gonna do it. I know that calling Guitar Center and Sam Ash the little guy feels a little weird because 10 years ago, they were the big guy that was pushing out the actual little guy. But <laughs> you know, we could talk more about that later. So anyway, I checked guitarcenter.com and it says that they have EL84 tubes in stock, but it doesn't say how many. But I figure, you know what? It's quicker than waiting two days, so I'll just go to the store and I'll see what they have. I asked the cashier at the front, hey, do you have any EL84 tubes? And to my surprise, he pulls out a cardboard box full of just loose tubes. After a couple minutes of digging, he comes up with one pair of Electro Harmonics EL84s and they are double the price of the ones on Amazon, and it's also only half of the amount that I need. So I ask, hey, are you able to see if any other stores have even one pair of these? Because I'll buy this pair, and then I'll just drive, you know, the 20, 30 minutes to the other guitar center, if possible. But he delivers the bad news that this is the only pair they have in the entire state. But lucky for me, there is a Sam Ash, like, five minutes from this guitar center, like really close. I'll actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up. So this guitar center is 2.8 miles from a Sam Ash. Could not be closer. So I get to the Sam Ash and they have one pair of EL84s. So I decide, you know what? I'm just gonna buy them because I haven't had any luck yet finding four of the same tube. So I'll just buy these two and then I'll figure out the other two later. Because would you believe it, this Sam Ash is eight miles from another Sam Ash. So I call the Sam Ash that's eight miles away and I just say, hey, do you have any EL84 tubes? Specifically, I'm looking for the JJ brand because I need to have four matching tubes. And they let me know that they don't have a good way to look up what they have or don't have and the guitar tech is on their lunch break so they can let me know in about half an hour. But I'm like 20 minutes away and it's a 30 minute wait to get that phone call back. So I just drive to the Sam Ash and as luck would have it, they have one pair of the EL84s that I need. So after visiting three stores, I was able to find four matching tubes in the entire city of Orlando, which to me, it's just a little weird because you would think, okay, tubes are what make a tube amp actually work. And one of the biggest high ticket items that you can buy at one of these places is a tube amp. And it's also the thing that breaks in these amps like 99% of the time. So it shouldn't be that hard to get a matching set of like the most popular tubes out there. Besides 12A7X, it's like the only other kind of tube. But it's not just tubes, it's also kind of everything else that I've needed from a music store lately. I think back to a few months ago when I had to do a similar trek to all three of the music stores around me to find a power supply for a keyboard. And I had another similar experience trying to buy a mixer for a rehearsal. The guitar center near me had a lot of eight channel mixers, a lot of four channel mixers, but they really only had one 16 channel mixer and anything else that they were gonna order was gonna take like multiple weeks. So I ended up getting the one that I didn't really want just because I needed it somewhat soon. And yeah, I understand that when it comes to retail stores, there's only gonna be so much that's available, but I just have a hard time understanding why we need two Sam Ashes eight miles apart and two guitar centers that are like 15, 20 miles apart in this city when neither one of them has any real inventory. Like you have to bounce around from store to store just to put together a cart and actually purchase what you need to purchase. 
And in this era with so much technology, you would think that they would have some kind of system where when they get low on a replenishable item like tubes, that it would just alert them and it would automatically order some more. Like I shouldn't have to go to three music stores to buy the only four matching tubes in the entire city. Like this is a major city with tons of entertainment, tons of live music every single night. And I could only find four matching tubes in the entire city of any brand. Tell me how that makes sense. And I love shopping at these local-ish music stores. Like I like going in, I like playing guitars, I like trying out gear. I have countless friends who have worked at Sam Ash and Guitar Center. I have had tons of buddies that have hooked me up there with good deals. But at a certain point, I just don't know if I can keep going to three different music stores to buy something that I can just get online the next day. And part of me hates that because when it comes to voting with your dollar in this world, well, we don't have a ton of impact. But one thing that we do get to do is choose where we shop. And when it comes to ordering things from Amazon, I don't exactly love the idea of making someone get on a plane to fly me a drum head and like a dude in a van comes and drops off one drum head on my doorstep. But when these stores just don't have anything in stock, I don't know what else to do. So if it's just me and I'm the only one who feels this way, let me know. If you think I'm an idiot for continuing to support these businesses that are near me, let me know too. Because if you told me you buy every single piece of music gear on Sweetwater and Amazon and you don't even bother checking the stores, Honestly, I'm at the point where I don't think I could blame you. Thanks for stopping by the channel, watching this video. As always, I am posting new music production and music business videos every single Friday. So if you wanna subscribe and get those on your homepage, feel free to do so. And then check out this video right here where I talk about some gear that I actually was able to buy. Thanks and have a good one.